we've been doing some stories lately following the current class of Las Vegas Fire and Rescue through their training. We were with them on their first day, and right now we're going to take you to some pretty extensive training they have to go through before they can operate an emergency vehicle. Sue Levitt has that story. Once you know that you're turning on this mirror, then you turn to this mirror pick up that next cone in that mirror. Chuck Stankowski is in charge of training our city of Las Vegas firefighters. So it's all a matter of just picking up the cones in your mirror. Today he takes us through the defensive driving courses created to help prepare firefighters to drive safely in emergency situations. It's set up kind of like a three lane highway, like a road, and then we put cones right in the middle, like there's a there's an object or a car stops or an accident right in the middle of the intersection. They have to wait till we tell them to go left or right, and then they have to go around that object. While these courses may look somewhat easy to maneuver, it's a little different once you're behind the wheel. Riding along with Chuck, he shows us how to get through all six courses without knocking over any of the cones. This basically teaches them the parameters of the vehicle, vehicle without hitting any cones because they've got to go left. They got to swing right, back left again, and they're, they're going to make a big J hook, just kind of like a question mark. The first course is called the Serpentine and designed to help drivers navigate around fixed objects, teaching steering wheel and speed control. They're going to go around these objects maintaining the speed. Once the drivers are comfortable maneuvering through the first couple of courses, they're challenged a bit more with some tougher obstacles. On the streets, we'll run into a lot of drivers that may not be aware of how to act around ambulances or engines, and um, we have to be able to do invasive maneuvers to avoid accidents. And that's what we're learning here is just driving techniques. The recruits have practiced and pretty much mastered the six courses separately, but now is when the fun and competition comes into play. Now what they're doing is going through all six courses together and seeing who can do this in the best time. Ready, set, go. It's definitely nerve wracking. You know, your blood pressure's up a little bit. You want to make a good time. All of the recruits successfully finished the final course with the challenge of trying to achieve a better time than Chuck and the other instructors. And although none of the recruits could beat their instructors, they did come pretty close. In fact, they came within seconds, but most importantly, all are now certified to properly operate city emergency vehicles. So once you get out of, out of the uh, academy and onto the floor, take these skills that we teach you and then practice them every day you drive that rescue. For City Beat, I'm Sue Levitt. Our firefighters are required to take that course and of course pass it once a year. Thank you, Sue Levitt, for that story.